pre-K. So Miss Julie was going through books and I saw this book and it was so cute. And I thought, stop what you're doing and read this book right now. So I wanted to share it with you. It's a super fun book. It's called Too Many Carrots. It is by Katie Hudson. Too Many Carrots. So this is Rabbit's house. And look, everything has carrots on it. Rabbit has carrots on the lamp. He has books about carrots. Keep calm and carrot on poster. A coffee cup that says, I heart carrots. So it's funny. If you look at the pictures, there's carrots everywhere in his house. Rabbit loved carrots. Do you notice it's all in capital letters? It's all uppercase. Rabbit loved carrots. He collected them wherever he went. Rabbit was proud of his collection and burrowed it away in his cozy hole. But Rabbit had a problem, a big problem. He couldn't sleep. Do you see Rabbit in with all of his carrots? His cozy hole was too crowded to live in. There's carrots coming out of everywhere. I need a place to sleep, Rabbit told Tortoise. You could share my house, Tortoise offered. It looks cozy and snug, Rabbit said. Maybe it's a little too snug for two of us, suggested Tortoise. Not at all, said Rabbit. <laughs> it does look a little too snug. But that's pretty cute. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Ouch. Ah, crash. Oh, dear. Well, perhaps we can stay in Bird's nest, said Rabbit. My nest is quite small, Rabbit, said Bird. I'm sure we will all fit, replied Rabbit. Rabbit hauled his carrots up the tree. Whoa, groaned Tortoise and Bird as the branch wobbled and swayed. Poor Bird, if you look close at her face, she's like, no. And snapped, crash. I'm sorry, Bird. Now three of us won't have a place to sleep, said Rabbit. You can sleep in my house, offered Squirrel. Oh, thank you, Squirrel. How kind of you, said Rabbit. I wonder if they'll all fit in Squirrel's house. I don't think any more carrots will fit, Rabbit, said Squirrel. Just a few more, Rabbit replied. Uh-oh, whimpered Tortoise, Bird, and Squirrel. Creak, crack, crash. Oh, Poor tortoise, his head is inside the big carrot pile. Now four of us won't have anywhere to sleep, grumbled Squirrel. You can sleep at my house, called Beaver. It has plenty of space. Great, I can bring even more carrots, Rabbit said with a smile. Oh, he has a band-aid up on his nose. But with all your carrots, we can't fit inside, said Beaver, a little bit bewildered. Just then, the rain started, tortoise shivered, bird whimpered, and squirrel squeaked. And beaver heard terrible rum and beaver heard a terrible rumble as his house collapsed. Oh no, my house, yelled beaver. Oh no, my carrots, cried rabbit. You see all those H's? Ah! That's why Miss Julie did that. <laughs> Crash! The friends groaned as they swept up into the riverbank. Rabbit felt terrible. His friends were cold, tired, and homeless. It was all his fault. Even worse, Rabbit still had all of his carrots and his house. That's when he realized there was only one thing to do. Share everything with friends. After all, carrots weren't for collecting, they were for sharing. 
Oh my goodness, they have carrot muffins. Looks like a carrot cake. They're eating carrots just as like when you pull them out of the ground. Ugh, it's a carrot milkshake. I don't know if I'd want to try that, but maybe it's good. And sharing made everything better. So they all did have a place to sleep and his bed um, comforter has carrots on it, of course. All right, I hope you enjoy the book. As soon as I saw this, I wanted to share it with you. I wanted to share my book with you, my friends. Have a good day, Pre-K. Miss Julie loves you and misses you.